junk in the trunk type sale. Uh, people want to bring things to, to Trantinas. We will sell spaces and we will have, for lack of a better term, a garage sale, a community-wide event. Um, at this point, it's, it, it's a lot. We have come up with a date, August 24th, and we're looking at like 10 to 4. Um, you'd be able to bring most anything with the exception of illegal items uh, and sell, sell your wares. Um, I don't have a budget at this point. Um, I guess uh, my only thing I'm really asking for is your approval to keep going and looking at doing this for uh, August 24th. Yeah, I think last month you asked for uh, the board's interest and now you've set a date. We've set a, we've set a date, we've set time. Um, we want to go on further, but we, we need to be sure that the board's going to say yes before we go on any further. Yeah, I have no real issue with it. The only thing is I always am saying is I want to, you know, it, it's it's one thing to do an event and it's one thing to, you know, even try to do fundraising, uh, but it's not worth it to put a lot of effort and a lot of uh, time and money into something that doesn't turn a profit. So right. I, agree. Uh, I would be very interested in knowing that whatever is planned is going to be kind of a self-managing thing that isn't going to require us to hire, you know, buses to truck people into the site or, you know, things that we've had to have yeah. expenditures right. for in the past. My, my thought or plan is so far as parking and that sort of thing, we've got several acres up front, I mean, in front of of the property where we could park. I'm not planning on busing anybody yet. It's going to be uh, basically self-managed. We'll, we'll paint some spaces. To, uh, we'll number them. Whoever comes up, they, they'll get a space. Um, you have to clean up after yourself. The, the space will be empty when you get there. It'll be empty when you leave. Um, well, the good thing about junk in the trunk is you drive it in. You park even. and you have your stuff there, right? That's kind of interesting. How much are the spaces? I think they were talking, we were guessing about $30. The space would be basically long enough to put a car in it. I mean, we're actually thinking, so we're looking at a space where it'll be like 20 by 40. Well, we're talking junk in the trunk, and we're really talking people loading up their cars or a little trailer or something to pull in and sell right out of your space. Okay, well, does the board have any strong objections to it, or what is the board's consensus? And how would they like to uh, direct Tom to move forward? Move forward, right? All right, well, we'll move forward then. Okay, okay the last thing, uh, I'm looking for authorization. Um, you know, we've been talking about building this uh, event center over at Trantinas. We pretty much know what we want what we want to do, but none of us are, are designers. I'd like to move forward with this and pull some professional people in, see what, what it's going to cost to build us a building that would hire, that would hold, I don't know, we're talking somewhere between 100 and 300 people. This building could be used for township events, it could be used for uh, rentals, for weddings, uh, meetings, dinners, whatever. It would be a profit center. We're not looking to lose money on this deal. We want, we want to make this something that will help support open space into the future. So if I understand this, you're looking for permission to hire professionals to discuss the grant opportunities and the site planning. I believe the committee would like to, um, to arrange some interviews with some of the professionals that the township has used in the past and uh, see what kind of options and grants and things are out there uh, for the next phase of the development. Is that yes. correct? Yes. I will make that motion. I'll second. We have a motion and a second. Is there any further discussion on the motion? This is just for proposals, correct? Yes. Yeah, yeah. We're not going to build it. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yes. It's really, like it says, to discuss mm -hmm. grant opportunities and site planning. Uh, hearing no further discussion, will the clerk call the roll, please? Trustee Kalis? Yes. Trustee Cruzet? Yes. Trustee Ofer? Yes. Trustee Keehan? Yes. Supervisor Myers? Yes. <coughs> oh, Motion yes. carries. 
Is there anything else, Tom? No, I think that's about it. Um, summer cleanup was going on. Things were looking pretty good there. Um, we'll just keep going on day to day. Well, I do have a question, and I'm sorry, uh, uh, Tom, I should have yes. brought it up earlier, but um, I, I'm going to jump in a truck seeing as how everybody's talking about insurance nowadays. Are, are these participants going to be asked to, I mean, Bill County, I don't know, because it is going to be on township property. So is there going to be insurance required of these participants, or is it going to be a, a, a blanket hold harmless? I'm not sure. I'm not, I'm not sure either. Um, I would say that if you're going to bring a vehicle onto the property, you're going to have to have car insurance. Okay. I just, I, I mean, with everybody yeah, but I don't, I don't, you know, you know, we're not going to have people riding in on motorcycles and that sort of thing. You will be required to have insurance on your vehicle if you're going to bring it in. Uh, so, so far as the vendors, we haven't made that decision. Okay. All right. All right that, that was my question. Thank you so much. So, you know, talking to our insurer, though, just to clear it up, you know, individuals don't necessarily require insurance, even in the parade or anywhere else. If we hire somebody, they are required insurance. Okay. If they're an organization, you know, uh, or a seller, you know, professional seller, mm -hmm. those types of things. But everybody is required to fill out a whole harmless. So, uh, in the parade and all that. Okay, I don't think that was just a question. I think you And we do the same policy. Can I ask you a question about in this Tratina Farm development project uh, a couple of years ago? Over 200, I think 240 people, residents, taxpayers, voters signed on to improve some improvements at the existing dog park it, are any of those now going to be considered in this uh, development project in expanding parking building sites etc Regina you because are I think the, out of order the, oh sorry thank you okay um, let's go on to parks and recreation 